Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Minecraft Mate is Simple. Today guys, we are going to do a treehouse because I thought it would be nice just to have either a treehouse here or a windmill, which we'll do eventually. But I think a treehouse will be really nice here looking at a little uh, village in here. So that's what we're going to do. This is going to be the uh, layout. Uh, as you can see, we're going to do five by five by five by five and we are going to build it up and it's going to be pretty awesome so stay put guys and let's build it okay guys so the first thing that we are going to do is select our shovel of course because we are going to need that one big time so let me swap that one for my sword and what we're going to do is remove one block the uh, ground in here that's going to be really important and then we are going to fill it up with planks that's going to be the flooring the base of this tree house which is going to be really important for the rest of the house. So there you go. Keep going. Keep cleaning the bottom of, of this uh, layout. And then uh, let's go put some of these planks as the floor, of course. So there you go. This is the way it's going to be. Let me very quickly uh, finish this. And I'll see you in a step number two. Okay, so that is how it should be looking at the moment. Step number three, we are going to build uh, with uh, locks. We are going to go uh, one, two, three, and four, and five up. And we are going to do all that across. So we are going to one, if I can get in here, wait for the second, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to do all that around this uh, layout. So that is what we are aiming for next. So once you have finished the walls, guys, we need to start placing some uh, steps. And by the way, I switched to creative mode because it's almost impossible going up and down and showing you how to do this. But well, there you go. Uh, this is the way it's done. Place uh, the steps all around uh, the wall and you will end up with something looking like that. So the next step, guys, is going to be placing some uh, slabs. And this is going to be to create the floor of the second floor. And once you finish, just make sure that you have a hole in the middle, something looking like this. Okay, guys, once you have finished with this step, then we are going to place on the corners a total of five, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, pillars of logs and you can use any type of wood that you want of course just uh, whatever suits you uh, call a palette and your buildings and whatever you're doing with it that is really what should be so there you go this is how it's looking at the moment if you have completed this step then we are going to join to join all the pillars and uh, that's going to be nice and easy as you can see by the way if you are not uh, playing on creative mode, you may find it a bit difficult. And the next step, we are going to use the lectins and we are going to do it right there facing inward. So that's really important that you do that because from the outside, we look much better if you do it the other way around. And that is how it will look from the outside. As you can see, give it a bit more of character. Although you could use fencing if you want it as well. That would be absolutely fine. So next step is we are going to place some trapdoors, guys. So uh, we need to uh, shift click as we explained that in the past, if you remember. And you're going to do that all across all the uh, side in here. So uh, shift click and click on your uh, trapdoors to place. And uh, that has to be pointed right there, as you can see here. So let's do all that in all four sides. Uh, let me check if we can actually uh, get that one going properly. Uh, you can shift click as well and you will avoid falling as well so that's another uh, 
trick that uh, you can use if you want to as well. Uh, we're going to do that one, and certainly we're going to do that one as well. And um, we are going to do the last one, which is going to be right there, right here, and right here. So now we have all four sides done as well. Uh, and steps to create this type of look in every corner as well. And um, we are going to go for that one. We're going to do this one as well. And of course, we're going to do the last one, as you can see in here as well. We are going to uh, make a one, two, three, and four locks out on every uh, pillar. And that is going to let us uh, eventually build things around what's going to be the base of the tree house. And I'm intending to do like uh, a bit of a balcony, maybe at some point. Uh, see how it goes, see how it looks like. I want to make nice and big, spacious a house and by the way you can use this as you start a house because effectively it's going to be quite big so uh, you could certainly use very easy to gather all the materials because you only need oak more than very very easy whatever you are you can actually do this next thing that we're going to do is use planks if i can find them it must be right here there you go and we're going to use the planks to cover all this um spacing here and so if you follow along guys that is what you need to do. So we are going to do that, that, and that. We are going to do the middle as well, leaving a hole in the middle. Remember that as well, because that is going to be an access point. So that is the way they should be done. And let's carry on placing these planks. So let's go up once again, this time by four blocks, one, two, three, and four and four and use the markers of you uh, pillars already there to know where to place them of course and that is the way that we are doing it so that's going to be number four as well now this is really uh, relevant to how you want it to look uh, uh, you could go five you could go six whatever you want uh, four i think is going to be fine maybe i want to go five as well in here just to give you a bit more of a tree uh, look uh, it looks a bit uh low at the moment but i think that that's going to be pretty cool if we go five up okay so next step is going to be placing all these steps like so as you can see we're going to do that in all four sides of the platform that is the way they should be placed not that one of course but just aiming for the top of the block to place them that way okay so this is the first time that you are doing this type of uh, placement aim for the top of the block and you will get that uh, look, I uh, saw so carry on placing more uh, pillars, and that's going to be right on the top of the uh, steps that you just placed. And we are going to go one, two, three, four, five in line with those, and we are going to do that in every single corner of the platforms. And I'll explain in a minute why we are doing it and how cool this is going to look. That is for sure. Okay, so this is what you finish with. Okay, guys, so we are going to carry on placing these uh, logs as uh, so. And we are going to get that one here. We are going to come all the way here. And then we are going to get the outside of those pillars that we just placed. Uh, something like that, as you can see. Uh, let's go back to this one so we don't lose track of what we are doing. Because this part can be a bit complicated guys so let's go that way let's bring it that way as well as you can see and that is how it's looking at the moment so let's close it right here as well as you can see in a minute we are going to do that one in there very quickly let's go to the other end very quickly and we are going to shut that and we are going to bring it down here as you can see and that one in here so you end up looking something like this in a minute something like that that's what you're looking for the windows now you can use this with a glass pane or simply glass that would work as well and simply just go all the way up and uh, cover the whole window uh, something like that and of course just aim to ensure that uh, you are placing the whole thing that should be uh, you can use pain you can use normal glass it's up to you uh, what you do so one of the things i'm going to do of course is use one of these little uh, platforms to create maybe an outside uh, um, patio or something for to that effect just to make it a bit different So 
the next thing I'm going to use in here is going to be some fencing. And what I'm going to do with that fencing, guys, is that I'm going to place it right there straight away to make like a little tiny balcony in this side. I think that that could be look very, very nice. Next, we are going to carry on placing, of course, the windows. And that's going to be on the rest of the platform. So I'll see you when I finish. there you have it now we have all these lovely windows with a what is going to be a little opening here maybe for a terrace or patio or whatever you want to see a balcony i would say is the correct uh, name for it but uh, that's how it's looking at the moment guys if you are following along uh, looking like a tree that's for sure okay so let's finish the base of this uh, place with uh, steps like so in every corner that's going to make it look a bit nice and more presentable as well so let's go to every corner and we are going to do that all along on the four main pillars guys so that is the way it's going to look at the moment as the next step okay let's place some uh, chain in here there's going to be one i'm going to place one in each if i can there you go that's another one and that's going to be the other one and i'm going to choose that one in there as well and then we are going to place of course the uh lanterns in there to make it nice and light as you can see and of course you can do this anytime you want in whatever you want but uh, yes yeah, looking looking trish very very nice so once you have done that guys the next step is going to be to place the water and we are going to use the water as a lift to go up and down on this place so uh, place the water against that block in there as so and uh, yeah definitely looking like a tree house no doubt look at this guys and it's going to be very nice it's going to be looking at the nether portal in there with a lovely uh, view and trees oh it's going to be pretty awesome guys step is going to be placing some doors because let's face it you can have a tree house but unless you have access to it you are not going anywhere guys so there you go uh, that's going to be one in there and we are going to place uh, right here as well which is going to be pretty cool and we are going to do that in all four sizes of the tree house okay guys so the next step is going to be placing some uh, slabs and we are going to do that one there and we are going to go out by uh, two should be enough and then we are going to place the last one right at the top like so and then we are going to create this lovely uh, fencing uh, to mark the fact that that is the entrance and we will have to do something with this make it like a nice step going down towards this lovely passing here we are going to work on something so you can do that on all uh, sides of uh, the house whatever you present the uh, doors that is for sure so there you go uh, we are going to go two and two and two and we are going to place those uh, Fences in here as well to make that look really nice. And we will place some lights around and all that kind of thing. Now, uh, it depends how many doors you want. We place all four. You don't have to have all four by any means. You can have one. You can have all four. It's up to you guys. But uh, to give you an idea how this will look, we carry on placing them uh, like so. And that is going to be, maybe we can take this tree out at some point. But we could do the back as well. I'm going to leave the back for a minute. I think that uh, that is going to be more than enough as it is. So next thing is going to place some lighting and we are going to do that in all sides of the uh, doors. Uh, being three in this case, but as I said, if you want the four, you can actually have the four. And also we are going to place very nicely in this corner here, we can put some flowers in there just to make a bit nicer. Maybe in every corner, that would be nice. And you can actually change the color of the flowers. You can do whatever you want. You, in addition to that, you can actually have some leaves around as well, because let's face it, this is a tree at the end of the day. So it's going to have to have a lot of different leaves and decorations and things that you can actually do. And uh, maybe not quite uh, yet, if you want to wait a bit longer, 
uh, until we finish the whole thing. But uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. And the next thing, guys, is going to be to create the uh, canopy of the uh, tree, as you can see. So that is what we are going to do. So we are going to go and create this lovely pattern that we have in here and see how this goes. As you can see, we are going to go all this way and then we are going to create this way. And we are going to bring it right here and then we are going to open up again and we are going to do this zigzag all along until the next one but this one will be then a straight across this side in here so we are going to do that zigzag again and that is going to be until you finish with the pattern so there you go that is how simple it is to create this thing oh uh, man oh man oh man this is actually a lovely little house that uh, we are creating at the moment so there you go we're looking pretty much as it should be let's do the second part of the canopy Okay, guys, so that is how it's looking at the moment at the top. I mean, maybe the last one is really so stupid, but we can actually take that one off and just make it look a bit more uh, decent as a tree. And of course, you can actually decorate. Put leaves and leaves and leaves until you feel it looks like a tree. That is one. So once you finish with that, we are going to carry on uh, placing some leaves here on this uh, type of uh, opening in here. I mean, you can put as many as you want just to give up your texture. To making sure that it looks more like a tree as well uh, if i can actually get there but you get the idea just you know do whatever you feel it, it, it makes look like a, a tree especially on this uh, bigger opening in here uh, just cover it all up with your lids that it was all about some of being creative in in uh, this game so there you go uh, make as much as you want or as little as you want that is the point so next thing is that we are going to decorate it a bit with some light just to make it cool maybe we can start placing more leaves on the top as well let's get some fencing in here and let's place some fencing there with uh, maybe we need some uh, lanterns straight away at this point you can use chain if you want, if you want as well just to make it a tiny bit bigger but you get the idea guys so uh, you're going to place one in each corner here to make it look nice as you can see uh, one in there as well there you go and make sure this all light up and nice and of course you can make as many decorations as you really want guys that is what the point of playing minecraft is all about of course it is and uh, you know i have to admit uh, it's pretty cool sometimes and let me just cover this maybe as well with a bit more uh just breaking a bit the pattern just to make a bit different if, if you like so there you go that is the way you should do it in terms of imagination of course do as much as you want but uh, enjoy doing it that's what i'm trying to say okay guys so that is how the house is looking as you can see we have a little balcony here that we can enjoy the view as you can see that's going to be pretty cool put some lights around you know we are going to make a nice path in here and probably we'll carry on with the cobblestone all around the house here as an access to the house you can do whatever you want and of course you can actually place uh, more uh, things around if you want as well just to give it a bit more of texture which i'm going to do which i love that uh, and that is pretty much the uh, house uh, how it's done guys you you know leave me a comment below what do you think and i think that if you want to use a, a tree house 
I think it would be pretty cool to do something like that. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. Let's have a last look at this thing, see how it's looking. And as I said, just be random placing leaves and, you know, do whatever you want with that. Enjoy, as I said. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a great starter house as well, by the way, guys. So there you go. That looks a tiny bit more decent. You can actually pile it up as well. And you could actually put some uh, different type of veins around. Oh, man, I'll show you when it's finished, guys. But so far, I think... Is looking pretty cool. So there you go, guys. This is how you make a tree house in Minecraft. Uh, obviously, many more different ways to do it, but uh, you know, give you the base of being creative. So that is the idea. So there you go. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next daily upload, guys. Until then, take care.